What's up guys, welcome back to the Big Logan channel. I am your host, Big Logan. So today's episode five of the van conversion project. This is Peggy the Pro Master behind me here. And today we're gonna cover the window installations. So there's a very unique window here and it's offered by CR Lawrence, but I haven't seen a lot of this covered on YouTube. So I'm here to show you. It's a bonded window. There's no vents on this. It is tinted, but it's only a one piece product. So there's no hardware. It's fully bonded to the exterior of the van. We're gonna cover that in today's episode and show you. We're also covering the CR Lawrence bunk side window installation. So those are on both sides, give us good cross ventilation over the bedside. And we have the Max Air roof vent fan up top that we installed on this episode as well. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome aboard. We're really excited to fully convert this van and share it with YouTube and the community. So thanks a lot guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let's get today's episode started. All right, all right, guys. So first step on the window installation in the back with the bunk side windows is to remove a part of the van framing. The van becomes rigid once the windows get installed again. So all you have to do is drill out the fusion welded tangs that are on the top and bottom of these vertical frames. And once you do that, you can just simply pry that frame off the body of the van. It has some glue and adhesive as well. Pull all that back and you have a blank slate to start doing your outline for the CR Lawrence windows. So the CR Lawrence two-piece frame solution unfortunately doesn't come with a template at all. So we cut our own template out, tested it a few times. I think we had to toss one or two away until we got it right. So we finally got the right template, got it up on the van, traced it out. All things checked out good and we were right on our way doing the bunk side installation. Just put a little spray paint in here with a foam brush, just dab it on. Rust preventative. Right on that bare sheet metal. Don't want to go too wide now. Not too much GoPro's getting wet. Hundred percent. No leaks. Roof vent fans going in. She's about to go. All right, send it. <laughs> All right. You ready for it? Going up. Say hi, Tori. Hey, where's your daddy? Where's your daddy? Is he up there? Where's your daddy? Mm -hmm. Hi, Tori. <laughs> Are you being shy? <laughs> We're almost about set. Luke's doing one level of the Dicor self-leveling lap sealing around the perimeter just as a assurance, but this extra layer with the window weld in between the adapter, the butyl tape, I mean, this is this is overkill. I think that's about it. Yeah, is that slide pulled out? Okay. Yeah. Now make sure she pushes down so she sits in the seal too. That's gotta go way down. There it goes. You want me to push? Yeah. Nice. Lost my neck. Blacked out. Uh -huh. hmm. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you for the help. Tori's eating yogurt raisins. Ooh. Tori, do you like yogurt raisins? Oh. There's one more in here, too. Chop. Oh, yeah. Here, hold your hand out. Chicken. Oh, good job. Can you give me a high five? <laughs> Yay, yeah. Tori. <laughs> all right, all right. 
that is a wrap today it's labor day time to do some grilling and chilling with all these folk got the windows in got the max air fan big thanks to my brother luke getting up on that roof luke's a little smaller than me got to wait on the window we need a 3m window weld primer this is a solid pane of glass so we'll get that updated later on in this episode but see you guys on the next day all right all right day two of the window install today the cargo window is going on this is a solid piece by cr lawrence bonded right to the metal there's no clamp ring or any works that goes on on the interior it is a lot cheaper we got it on sale for 160 dollars shipped but it was regular price i think around 300 it was about half price it was on sale three or four months ago so we're gonna make a template for that and then the materials we need is the 3m window weld super fast curing same stuff that we used up on the max air fan adapter for the pro master got a second tube of that ready to go so we have one and a half tube should be plenty and then this specifically calls for on the back this 3m single step primer and you need this because you want to get a good bond on here since there's no mechanical fastener you got to bond that to the enamel so you definitely want to make sure you get the right gear and we got some nitro gloves because that window weld is nasty we're going to get that out make a template cut the hole in the van Luke said he just learned this. No, no, start over. You can't act like we, we got to tell them that we already knew this. Her tip for you. Oh, okay. All right, here, I'll do it. All right, first of all, everyone knows, use this little pin on the end to break your hole. To break the hole in the foil in the, in the caulk tube, yeah. Then before you're ready to go, you got to cut your notch on there. You forget your pocket knife. You put a razor blade on it, right? That's what the hole in here is for. What? Every caulk gun has that? Every caulk gun has it. So is there a blade in there? There's a small blade in there. No way. This is the cheapest caulk gun I could find. I'll do it again. So it's got a cutter. No way. Ready to go. Hey, we're getting this uh, ready for primer. That's all clean, ready for primer. We're going to prime, throw the window well down. It's starting to warm up today. We're going to send it. Clamps are coming off. It didn't fall yet. You think we should slam the door shut? Absolutely. All right. Looks good. And that's a wrap on the window installation, you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next Build Series episode.